Hi everyone, uh, this is the uh, mechanics and the resisted vertical motion lesson two. I'm just going to do um, a question. This actual question is uh, from Maths in Focus. So in an example, it's a very, um, very heavily uh, on algebra and need to be explained a little bit more. So I just am um, going to use the question to explain. Okay, question two. A particle of mass m is projected vertically upwards with initial velocity vo in a medium where the resistance r equals mkv. So let's have a look at this. So let's um, initial velocity vo. What does that mean when x equals zero, t equals zero, v equals vo? Okay. So it's good to actually uh, write it down before you start proving or solving it. And of course, R equals MKV is important. So show that the maximum height. Now, when you see maximum height straight away, I would actually underline that as V equals zero straight away. And then B, that that's what you have to prove, X equals something. And then B, show that the time uh, it takes to reach the maximum height. So T equals question mark when V equals zero. But we can actually... Um, use something from the part A. And then part C, given that, that's a given, and the VT is the terminal velocity, prove that velocity V of the particle on the returning to its original uh, launch point satisfies the equation. Now that means the total distance we are looking at. It's gone up and down, so it's a returning, okay? So it's not just going one way, it's coming back as well. So think about that. So we are looking at the total distance here. Okay, so let's have a look at the part A. So part A, we know it's um, going vertically upwards. So the going up is a positive. So obviously mg is negative and the resistance force is negative. So F equals minus mg minus R. You don't really need to write this anymore, but if you, you know, want to, make sure that it's you're on the right direction so you can start with that and then of course after that ma equals minus mg minus r was mkv divided by that you will get that okay and when you get used to it i think you can go straight into that if you if you're confident and then for maximum height you know v equals zero so i want to change that a into something to do with um, x in it. So we, we got, um, uh, we can use uh, dv, uh, v and dv over dx, okay, not dv dt. So mostly if you want to expect it, the x will be this one. If you expect it t, it will be dv dt. Okay, so and I'm divided by v to here. Now you know we have to make the x the subject, which means integration. So you want to make a perfect condition for uh, integration that we have to do. So I'm gonna make the dx dv, so I've flipped, okay? Why? Because I wanna make x the subject. So when I do that, um, I need to prepare, okay? I can't just do this, because I've got something there. Now, when it gets have a something v and the v on the bottom, it's the best you, you probably got the idea now, you will get like constant and take away something okay in the form so i'm doing a minus one over k because i want this to be kv so i times it okay and then i'm going to plus minus g the gravity so that i will have this form of the de denominator on the numerator so then i will get the constant of this okay so that's what it is Okay, and then I'm gonna do integrate. So on the left-hand side, it'll be just dx. Right-hand side, it'll be dv. If I integrate, I'll take the constant out. I'll have this. Now, that's not a problem. One, integrate one, it's just, you know, v, because it's in terms of v. But this one, we need to change it because it's obviously ln. Most of the time, it's ln. So you need to look at the kv. So I want a uh, differentiate of kv, which is k on the top. So I need to create the perfect condition there. So I've done that and I will get ln 
there and then plus C. Now, here, the initial is uh, X equals zero, V equals a VO, okay? Because it says then the question, initial velocity VO. So it's not zero, so be careful about that. So when we do that, uh, my C equals, because a C goes to the other side, C equals, so it becomes a positive. And then what I'm going to do is um, put it into the uh, original form that I start with, with a C in it. Now let's tie this up. This looks very uh, messy. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the minus, um, uh, no, not minus, 1 over K in the front. So I will have this one first and that one the second. But remember, this is negative, so be careful with that. So I'm going to put VO minus V, and then that's this one. And then minus minus becomes positive. And now you know that's like LN. So if I take a G minus K, LN, that will over this one. Yeah. So, and then you'll go maximum height when V equals zero. And then we'll put the V equals zero. And what do we get? That's what we get. Now, just be careful of this. Like you need to really confident with LN because you probably notice that there's a lot of LN happening. So when it's a negative, it's gonna be a fraction, okay? Most of times. So take the positive out. So that's gonna be on your numerator. Negative, it's a denominator. And then um, meet the um, condition for the question, which was V equals zero what will happen to the x so that was what we had to um, prove okay so that was a now part b what will happens what's the time when the v equals zero so that was the question so we need to change that now from a we got dv dt equals this at the start and now because we want um time so we used the you know v and dv over dx but we want the time so we're going to start from the beginning with the dv dt on it okay and then make the t the subject of course we need to integrate that anything you want to make into subject from d something differentiation you have to do integrate so uh, i move the dt and then dv over there and of course this looks like we're going to have ln so I'm gonna to have to create the perfect condition for a LN. So I'm gonna take minus one of a K and then put the K there. And then I'll have a constant there, which is not bad because T equals zero when V equals VO initially. So when I do that, I'll get C. So I'll put it all in into, um, oops, into the um, original equation. The, the before C. So, and then we'll put the C in there and just tidy it up a little bit because it's LN, we can tie it up a little bit nicely and simple. And what happens, what is the T when V equals zero? So we'll put the V equals zero in here and that's exactly what question asks us to show. So that's not too bad, okay? And the next one, next one, part C. So, Prove, that's what we have to prove. But this one was uh, going up and returning to the original position. So we're looking at total distance here. So going down, back again, so that is a positive, and that's positive, and that's a negative direction. So we're always gonna start with slightly different with the sign. It depends on the going up or down, this sign will change. And then we make it into uh, in terms of um, expression for the acceleration because then we'll have two choices, you know, dv dt or v dv dx. Anyway, so we want we were given um, some information. V velocity of uh, terminal velocity equals what is it when a equals zero? Because that's what happens with the terminal velocity. A equals zero because it's constant. It becomes constant velocity. 
and then we'll get the vt equals g over k so those are a few things we're gonna have to use so and then um since vo was given i'm going to substitute in there and then i'll have a vo of g over 2k now this is what we're going to use later on so we had these this to get to the here okay so let's find the v in terms of x so obviously we need to use v and dv dx because we want an x term so that's a g minus kv which is from right there okay and then i'll just divide it by v why because i want to integrate so and then i want it to be x equal something so i'm going to flip and then i'm going to make perfect condition for the integration for ln okay again because it was the same power v over v so if you think about this it's like x over g minus kx so the power is the same degree is the same one and one in that case most likely you will need to make a constant two terms from here make it two terms and then you um, get into the um, integration ready for integration okay so most likely the constant is one okay so let's integrate so dx here dv so that will be the perfect way and then what happens is so i need to work on um, this part because one integrated one it's just the same just v but i need to change this so i need to prepare the perfect condition for ln okay so to do that um, i will have to take the g out put the k in but k was you know like a temporary putting it in so i need to cancel that so i need to put over k but make sure be careful because it's a g minus kv that means it has to be minus k on there because differentiation of minus kv is minus k okay so do that you will get c obviously the initial um initial uh, condition was x equals zero v equals zero so when you do that you'll get c equals g over k square ln g and put it all back into here that's this one okay so we want to tie it up a little bit so if i take the um minus one over k out from here and um, i will get that and i've tied it up with ln that's what i got now this is the distance down because that's what we did at the beginning now distance to where up was from part a okay because it was uh, given to us x equals um whatever that was the uh, distance up and now this is distance down that has to be the same isn't it because it's up and down the same distance and you're just really doubling it so when you do that we'll make it equal to and then here is the one we need to use at the beginning we found the vo equals in terms of k so i'm gonna substitute that in and if i do that I will get this far and I'm just gonna add it on to to that okay so um, keep going with algebra so this is what will happen up here now up to here that's not a problem okay but we need to make it into what it shows in from the question the question what we have to prove it's not like this at all so we need to make simplify because there's no k squared in the um what we have to prove so we need to get rid of k square that's not a problem and then um there was no like g over 2 in it so we need to get rid of g so divided by g and then um the way they um they did was like standard form like equation so move everything to the left make the right hand side zero so i'll just move this one to the, the other side everything equals zero as required so that's what happened okay so th there's a heavy um algebra uh happening so make sure you um watch the videos more than once understand fully and learn the techniques there's a 
few techniques and that good thing about it is techniques are repeating okay so if you can get the pattern out of the um the that those skills it'd be very handy so good luck and well done